Disneyland was not like anywhere else on Earth. When I started working at the park, the employees were so happy to be there. The company appreciated you. Or at least it did. Having the last name Disney is like having a weird superpower you didn't ask for. But then one day, I got a message from a guy named Ralph who worked at Disneyland. How many of you know somebody who works at Disney who slept in their car in the last oh. couple of years? How many of you know somebody who have gone without medical care oh. because they can't afford it? <laughs> the American dream teaches us that if you work hard enough, anything is possible. It's magical thinking. Dr. Disney. Disney could raise the salaries of all of its workers to a living wage. It was possible to do this when my great uncle and grandfather built the company. It's possible now. That is socialism. We, we know socialism. what that is. We're the people who do the pixie dust at night. You scrub the kitchens, the floor, the toilets. With both of us working full time, we still fall below poverty level. A custodian would have to work for 2,000 years to make what Bob Iger makes in one. The Disney company is ground zero of the widening inequality in America. You know, I think of it as the assholification of America. This isn't just a Disney story. It's the story of nearly half of American workers who can't make ends meet. I have this passion growing within me now, building power for working class people like me. If you could tell Disney anything, what would you tell them? We'd like to be able to have a home 